Hello, I hope this video helps to explain a little more of what the code is doing and how you can modify it for your own uses should you wish. So the first thing we do is to import four libraries, um, the four libraries required to run the program. The three from the standard Python libraries that will be installed with your copy of Python straight away are urllib2, that's going to handle web queries and interacting with websites, re or the regular expression library, and time, the time module, time library. Finally, we're going to import Beautiful Soup. Now, Beautiful Soup is uh, available free, and you can find the link at the bottom of the page, or turn to just Google Beautiful Soup, and I'm sure it'll be the first link you come to. The next thing we're going to do is to uh, set up our three imports. Now, in this case, we're importing data from Bloomberg, from the Financial Times, and from BBC. The principle is exactly the same if you had your own sources. You could either use the three here and add to them, or modify the code very simply to bring in your own data sources. So just running through what they do for Bloomberg and the FT, we uh, set up a raw object which is going to hold the uh, underlying web page and we tell urllib2, so from urllib2 open, you'll use url open and that requires a string, the string being the, uh, the HTML path. So we give it to pass in this case the bloomberg.com slash energy and we're going to use the read method to read the contents of that page into raw bloom data. Raw bloom data itself is then passed through into uh, beautiful soup which will then find within uh, the raw data or its, its processed version of it um, the 26th um, table row element uh, which we label to be Brent. We then take this Brent element and convert and run a regular expression over it in this example to find the actual all price. Now in that case, it, obviously it's come from a web page, so it's only a string, right? it's in text. So we then convert that string into a numerical number using the float function built in to Python. It, basically the same goes for the FT. We take the string, obviously different in this case, markets.ft.com etc etc. We use the URL2 library and URL open to read the contents into, in this case, raw FT data. Raw FT data is then passed into a new object through Beautiful Soup called FT Soup, uh, and then we're going to find uh, the first table row element in uh, in the FT Soup object. Once again, this is of course being a uh, some, a string of text. We need to convert it into a numerical number. In this case, we convert it into the float. Thirdly, and finally for the imports, the BBC doesn't require the use of beautiful soup. Um, the underlying data, as it currently stands, isn't in a uh, tabulated uh, row format, so we can simply pass the URL using url to lib library once again, again passing the string into the read, or via read, into raw BBC data. We're then going to, we have a regular expression, uh, which is going to look for this text here within the raw data. Um, and look for or find the next digits. It then is going to pull out this string. We're going to run a second regular expression over that to pull out just those digits. Essentially taking all of this, and then just just finding those digits within that string, and then we convert that string into a float. So we now end up with three prices: one from Bloomberg, one from the FT, one from the BBC, as uh, mathematical objects, as floating point objects. It'd be nice then to display that on the screen or on the console. So we have this very simple little display here. We're just printing off um, Bloomberg, a tabulated um, uh, instruction, and then the floating point Bloom price to two decimal places. This um, uh, this uh, slash t says tab. The percent dot two f is picking up the Bloomberg value. Uh, putting it to two decimal places as a floating point object. Um, we do the same for the FT, but there's there's two tabulated characters in this case, and the BBC two tabs once again. We then work out an average of, of these three numbers by just simply adding them up, Bloomberg, FT, BBC, and dividing by three. That gives the numerical average. Finally, we want to write this data out onto, uh, onto a disk, in this case to C test, 
um, and we're going to use the method where we open the file. Right? In Python, you open an object and write to it. So we open up a object in C test called Bloomberg test. So a file in C test Bloomberg.txt. We're going to write to that file the Bloomberg price. We do the same for the FT, FT.txt, write the FT price. Uh, and then BBC text, write the BBC price. And finally, the average.txt, we write the average price. We then tell the console to sleep for 10 seconds, or the program to sleep for 10 seconds. So that's then going to display the contents of, um, of our code on the console for us to, us to visually examine. Now, if you wanted to change some of this code, there's almost everything you could change. You could thread a lot of this if you wanted to do. You could uh, write this information out into a database, but we'll cover that in other videos. So just running the program, um, we see program runs, initiates, and then after a few moments, we can see we've got the Brent crude price, Bloomberg, FTBBC, and finally the average displayed.